Let's get into the pod. What we got, man? We bring this up. Yeah, Yeezy porn. Let's go. Yeezy porn. All right, that's y'all man. This is the official Yeezy porn website. He's serious enough to have a freaking website, bro. All right, so y'all can't see shit because I can barely see shit. All it right. says Kanye West plans to launch Yeezy porn, TMZ. Yeezy reportedly launching Yeezy porn with Stormy Daniels' ex-husband. Huh? <laughs> What? Uh, Kanye West announces Yeezy porn amid reports of adult film company Rolling Stone. Kanye West plans to start Yeezy porn business with help from Stormy Daniels, ex-husband. And this goes on and on and on. Let me see if we can uh, get more details uh, on what's going to happen. All right. So y'all see Kanye. Does Jay have adult films on the way? TMZ reports that the artist formerly known as Kanye 46 has been throwing around the idea of launching a pornography studio as his latest non-musical offering. Ye and his associates are, rep are reportedly now in advanced talks with Stormy Daniels' ex-husband Mike Moss to get the ball rolling on building a supposed Yeezy porn division, which would fall under the Yeezy parent company. Uh, let's see. According to TMZ, Maz is a veteran in adult entertainment industry with over a decade's worth of experience as a producer. He will re reportedly be brought in to lead the new effort, which could launch as early as this summer. On Wednesday, a day after the outlet report, Ye shared a post on Instagram simply reading 2 4. Uh, excuse me, 2 24 24. Yeezy porn is coming. It's uh, overlaid with a woman's voice saying, go ye go to Yeezy.com. Um, yeah, this is... Uh, Ye seems to have a complicated relationship with pornography. He wasn't shy when it came to rapping about his fantasies with women at the start of his career, but something shifted about five years ago when he confirmed he converted to Christianity. During 2019 interview with Apple Music Zane Lowe, West, who served as creative director of the Pornhub Awards <laughs> the year prior, complete with merch, said Playboy magazine was his gateway to a full on pornography addiction. My dad had a full magazine laid out when I was five. He told Low Playboy was a getaway to a gateway to a full pornography addiction. It has impacted every choice I've made in my life from age five to now. All right, I'm not gonna go further down this rabbit hole. I just wanted to. I, so I, wait, so wait, go his ahead, go father ahead. had a a porn addiction, and it made him want to get into porn. No, what he's saying is his dad had a Playboy collection, a collection of Playboy books, and when he when Kanye found the Playboy books, he said that was the gateway into him having a porn addiction, and he's saying that his porn addiction has colored every decision he's ever made in his life. In a good way, I'm assuming. Really? No. I, so <laughs> if it's not in a good way, I don't understand why he would want to do Yeezy porn. It would have to be in a good way, no? Marrying Kim Kardashian, that was the best idea? No, I'm saying for him, not for us. I'm saying for him. He said no. it's... The, I don't the, think he was trying to say it in a in a in a like this was a positive thing. So if I it wasn't a positive thing, I don't understand. I'm trying to understand why would he want to create right. easy porn if if that was the gateway to all of your decisions that you made in your life. And if it was negative, why start Yeezy porn? Maybe I'm not under, I'm, I'm not understanding. Hmm, maybe I do need to read further. That's actually a great question. Uh, all right. Let's see. Elsewhere in the conversation, which was recorded ahead of the release of his Jesus is King album featuring the Sunday service choir. Ye opened up about how his Christianity changed him. Now that I am in service to Christ, my job is to spread the gospel to let people know that Jesus has done what Jesus has done for me, said Ye who is still with Kim Kardashian, who was still with Kim Kardashian. I spread a lot of things. There was a time letting you know that high fashion had done to me. I was letting you know what the Hennessy had done for me, but now I'm letting you know what Jesus has done for me. And in that I'm no longer a slave. I am a son now, a son of God, I'm free. In 2022, Kanye West wrote in a loud deleted Instagram post that pornography destroyed his family. Hollywood is a giant brothel. Pornography destroyed my family. I deal with the addiction Instagram promotes. It's not going to let it happen to Northie and Chicago. He wrote 
at the time per six page. A lot has changed between then and now, including uh, Ye's marriage to Bianchi, Bianca, not going to say the last name, 29, which happened secretly in December 20. Okay, 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 cool. okay. Can we get to the uh, beautiful, big titty, buck naked women just don't fall out of the sky, you know? And there's no other explanation. So, only thing they did was just give you all the information. So, we don't know if this was good or not. This looks freaking crazy. Um, This was one of the conversations that I wanted to have. I wanted this to be about. Once again, I'm never here to judge anybody. I'm only trying to understand the logic. And J. Hill really brought to bear where the confusion lies. Jesus is king. You're supposed to be on a big Christian kick. You know what I mean? Um, but then now we're swinging. The so hard guess it sounds like from the article, a lot has, they were saying at a time, this was where he was at mentally. But right. a lot has changed from then to now, clearly. But they didn't Correct. go into what has changed and how it's changed. Correct. Um, you know, I'm going to try to have this conversation in the most positive way, just like I, like J. Cole. And what I mean by that is I love the fact as a grown man that I can see these things unfold like this. Not for the kids, but for as a grown man, because it shows me what I don't want to be. Okay. It looks very contradicting. It looks unsure, right? We talked about this before. It just mm -hmm. looks like you don't have a leg to stand on because you don't stand on anything. What, mm -hmm. What's the famous quote? If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. And it mm -hmm. seems like this is Kanye West. It's like you're you were Jesus, and not saying that we can't, we don't have the right to change our mind. I'm not saying that at all. We are we are human. We 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 learn things. We 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 get into things and we learn more about it than we change. We get, I get that, but mm -hmm. Yeezy is, is is this? It's like. It's a pattern of him continuing to do that all the time. And when you're doing that in a public space, you're pushing people towards something that you really don't know nothing about just to mm -hmm. sweep the rug, sweep the rug from under our feet. And that's not fair. So it's mm -hmm. like, this shows me what I don't want to be. It's like, I'm not mad at him for, okay, porn, but it's like, you went so hard for Jesus and God. You went so hard just to come back and, 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 and do all this goofy stuff. It's like, bro, make up your mind. Who do you want to be? And this is coming from somebody that's a fan. And it's frustrating because... At a time, I love Kanye West. And it's like, I wouldn't get emotional, but it, I would. It was like, oh, because I really like Kanye West. Like, I, 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 mm -hmm. I, it was a time where I saw me and Kanye West, but now it's the mm -hmm. furthest from it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, as an adult, it's like, man, I love that I can see this and I could be like, that looks crazy. I never want to be that person. But at the same time, mm -hmm. looking at, like I told Wayne no before, I'm looking at the people who, who don't know no better. Who's looking at this like, man? Oh, Kanye West did it. When that's the the, the furthest of an example you should follow. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it ain't, and, and it ain't because it's porn. It ain't, it ain't just because it's porn. It's because he don't know what he want to do. He can't be a leader. You can't lead if you don't know if you're not decisive. If you're not decisive, mm -hmm. put the phone down, put the cameras down, and shut the fuck up. That's how. <laughs> that's what I think, in my opinion. I feel like some people are great within the confines of a team. And I feel like Kanye was at his best when he was with a team of people and they cared about him, but he wasn't, like you said, he wasn't in charge, but yo, he had say so like people respected his opinion. You know what I'm saying? People listen to him. I think he works best within that environment where people can, people can, because I don't want to, I don't, I don't, ever, control. Nobody, he's, never, saying, cause he's never been controlled. We know that we know better than that. No, 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 no. Be, but you got to remember early Kanye that was a part of the rock, and then uh, and then after the fact, kind of underneath the J. They said he was a hothead then. He was a hothead, but he was still surrounded by men that kind of helped. Not saying kill the urges, and they weren't trying to control him. What they were doing is showing to be an example that he followed. Whether it be conscious or unconsciously. Okay. All right, Jay, Jay not gonna say too much. He's gonna chill. I'm not gonna say too much. I'm gonna chill. Like, all right, I'm in a I'm in a I'm in a team. I'm surrounded by people that move a certain way. I'm gonna move that way because that's what it's a part of be that's what it's like to be a part of this or being a part of this thing that we have. You know what I mean? Once you feel like I'm not a part of that no more, 
and it's team me and everybody's going to follow me, then guess what? Now it's I, I'm going to ignore anybody and it's got to be any it's it's I'm only listening to myself and I'm only listening to what I think I should be doing. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that's healthy for any person. I don't care. That's the reason why the president of the United States has a board. They, he has a whole council of people. He has a chief of staff. He has like, it's not like you just give a nigga the launch codes and then leave this nigga alone and let him do whatever fuck they want. Like there are checks and balances around even the most powerful person in the world. So how is it that we get into our own businesses and into our own lives and then people feel like it's healthy to operate like that where he doesn't have anybody that's stopping him or telling him, no, this isn't a good idea or like, please listen like this Yeezy porn how does this play out with what we're trying to build? You just launched a new clothing brand. You just did this new album. Like you, you know, you're 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 throwing a whole onslaught of beef at Drake. How does Yeezy porn fit into what we're doing right now? This doesn't even make sense. And I ain't here to judge a nigga on whether he wants to launch a porn company or not. But even if you just did interviews talking about a few years ago saying that yo, porn destroyed my life and it destroyed my family. So what is it like? So because you can't beat them, you join them. Mm. That doesn't. Yeah, even I, I don't understand. I know he, a lot of people no. didn't, Ben didn't understand, but I was one of the few who was holding on by a thread. Like nah, Yeezy man, I, I trust him. Anything he say, I, I believe it. And it's like <laughs> to see that hair. Like nobody wants to be wrong. So to see that hair is it's just it it is it, is like like I said about David Haney. It's, it's almost like um. Uh, secondhand embarrassment because I was one of the ones that was fighting for you so hard. Like the whole Drake thing, I just don't understand that. It's like you, you look corny. Like, bro, kings don't gotta talk about kings because what I do shows it just is what it is. I don't have to talk about Drake. I don't have to. If anything, that's probably why Kendrick Lamar not responding. If we want to be real, because all this, bro, what they say, I you you not you shouldn't argue with a fool because from afar, a uh, stranger will never know who is who. Right, mm -hmm. so Kendrick Lamar probably like, man, I'm a king, I'm a big dog. All these niggas, that's peasant behavior. I ain't about to jump in this when you got everybody coming at you. I, I'm a little goofy. I ain't nobody, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Say what I feel like that's how Kanye West should have took it. It's like, bro, you ain't have to do none of that to to, to that would that didn't help you. If nope. anything, it made it worse for you. Cool, yep. future and Drake because they was close, they had a they had a little situation going on. We understand that. Even Rick Ross, you know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, we understand that. Kanye West, you look like you begging for attention. It don't look good. The clothing Damn. brand. I'm sorry, my bad. I apologize. The clothing mm -hmm. brand. You sent it out. It was shit. We see so many people talking about it on Instagram. It don't fit, right? Casanat was one of the first ones that said, yo, you sent me some shit. It don't even fit. Like, I can't even review it because like, it don't even fit me. Send me something that fits. Then you get mad at a kid. Now you 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 going at a kid talking about he's a, a industry plant when this man been grinding since who knows when Kanye West, you look corny, bro. Like it's bad. Like super bad. You know super you bad. Hooligans up here. Oops, my bad. I'm trying to find now. My next question is: Did you watch the interview? What? Justin what LaBoy? Uh, yeah, Justin LaBoy. Right, right. They dropped the full thing. Um, it, I saw it on YouTube. Let me see if they took it down. I think the clip that was going on. I didn't see the full. Uh, it, uh, let me put this on a joint. And then we can. I just want to breeze through a couple things. Ba 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 ba. Made it full screen. Yeah, right. I just made that joint full screen. Change the um. Uh -huh, the uh -huh. We we here. here. And you got mute some. The, the king of toxic, toxic himself. himself. Yeah, phone, maybe uh, I'm back. Yeah, I'm for good. good. Y'all know. Oh yeah. shit. Yeah. See me. Oops, my bad. Too so slow. Too slow. Fuck him. <laughs> All right, that was way too slow. <laughs> hold up. Now make it go faster, like uh 1.5 maybe or one two. One point, you know? All right, hold on. 1.5. All right, there we go. Problem. You know what I'm saying? Y'all thought I wasn't gonna ever come back speak. It's my first fucking episode. I got my brother with me co-hosting. Can I can I can I throw some hate out there real quick? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Um I fucking hate niggas like Justin LeBoy, even though I love first of all, I love him. His interviews, his his shows have been dope, but I hate the fact that. This nigga went from being on Revolt doing crazy numbers to now you just pop up with Kanye on your first podcast, your first episode of your podcast. You didn't have to work your way up to shit. I done recorded like a thousand episodes of some shit and I'm still out here trying to make it. This nigga podcast one don't even got a good haircut. This nigga looks like a homeless nigga with a Rolex on. 
Ah, anyway, now, I'm sorry. I, you know, it's funny because I think I didn't think the show on Revolt was all that good, but I think he definitely made a platform. He definitely worked his ass off to get even on that because his platform went through the roof. So, like, I don't mm -hmm. know if I would agree on that. Like, he didn't have to work because he definitely made a name for himself off the memes. One of the first people that I've seen do it like that. I guess. No, we we talking about. Hey, man, I, 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 you know what? I'm old, so I didn't even think that was a thing. I thought that was just so he could keep some traffic on his page. But yeah, you're right because that's a, that's almost a thing within itself. It's like when you talk about memes now, you you kind of bring in Justin LeBoy. People just be reposting the shit all day long. So you're right, you're right. I mean, hard work pays off. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they get scary. Innovation pays off. Yeah, scary moment. Yeah, I agree. We here, in Chicago. We here. What's up? Yeah, I don't even got to introduce you. We're not even going to do all this shit. We're just going to get straight into it. The hottest shit in the world right now. <sighs> Let's jump right in. We saw you and your wife out at Disney. Next, we see reports of a battery charge as a result of your wife being sexually assaulted. Wifey, okay. What happened? How important is it for you to protect your loved ones? Yeah. What kind of yo, stupid ass question is that? That is a yo, dumb No, question. no, 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 no. Hold up. Let's hold up. Hold up. You, all right. All right. I'll Let's play it. it. I mean, it's, I mean, it's yo. Just, Let's unpack it. Hold uh, up. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. That is the dumbest question. I've I don't ever think so. What, what I what I mean by this is unpacking it is first and foremost, you got to appreciate the relationship off bucks. You got to appreciate the relationship off bucks because people don't understand how hard it is to have these interviews with people, uh, with celebrities and ask them hard, hard questions. You see how easy that question was? To ask Kanye was was mm -hmm. because they have the relationship. And if you are somebody that's aspiring to have a podcast, aspiring to do interviews, I need y'all to understand that this wasn't just some random interviewer saying, "Yo, you had a battery, uh, you you was accused of battery in Paris. Tell me about it." They clearly have a good relationship. Okay, that's something that I noticed. I'm just that because I do interviews. That's the first thing I noticed. I'm like from the. From the from the from the point of him saying we don't even got introduced, man. That niggas know what's up. Yo, I saw you in Paris, right? And I think the how important is it to protect your family piece was a good, you know. Sometimes as interviewers, you kind of like gotta dress it up a little bit. That was a, a, a pretty decent dress. It was like, okay, I'm it's not a, just yeah, it's a softball opening question, you know. Yeah, what I'm so saying? it's like, so yo, you can, hopefully you can happen, right? You know, you was protecting your family so he could feel comfortable, you know what I'm saying? Even though mm -hmm. he ain't had to do that because mm -hmm. he already had it, but I thought I, I I ain't mad. I I thought it was good. I ain't no hate over here. I can't I can't hate on that. I can't hate. All on right, that. let's roll it out. What's the question you want? How important it is, or what happened? No, what happened? What's, what's the story? Because you got security and you a chateau nigga. Yeah, it's like my wife is walking to the bathroom at the chateau, and then the this guy. So this wasn't at Disney. I think everybody think this happened at Disney. Oh well, let's not let's not kill the magic. <laughs> <laughs> so this happened at Disney. <laughs> yeah, well, well, let's um, well, we don't have to make it as specific then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll say. Sure. You know, this this guy just grabbed my wife and then she just I didn't see it directly. And she started just explaining to me what happened. So then I walked over and found him. And then I'm talking to security, different security, like not not just the security that be with me, but other security. Like, OK, let's get this guy just escorted out or something. You know, it's like, <laughs> look, man, I just don't want to. Um, and I talked to the guy, I said, yo, I need you to just you just need to leave right now. He's like, oh, it's OK. It's OK. And it's like, no, it's not OK. <laughs> it wasn't OK. Then, then he saw it went OK. I had to go to bed early. Tuck his nigga in. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. Okay, um, so he might still be sleeping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shout out to him. I, can't, I don't know what happened. <laughs> he still he just sleep though. He had to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. We're gonna take it over to this rap beef, man. This is the most entertaining rap beef. Damn, that was fast. Yeah. Future, Metro, Drake, Kendrick, yeah. J. Cole. What you mean? It's like give me like give me some role play. Like it was that was like it was just like. This happened, this happened, boom. All right, let's go to the beef. It's like, whoa, whoa, mm -hmm. buddy. Like, let's. I, yo, this nigga ain't doing no podcast. Yo, he's just, we watching a nigga make clips. Okay. That's all he's doing. They okay. just making clips right now. Like, that's all it is. This ain't no real conversation. Well, Ross, Chris Brown, Quavo, The weekend. Yeah. What the weekend doing? What happened? I mean, Drake and his people taking shots at the weekend. They're not really feeling how uh, he's fucking with Metro. You know what I'm saying? Cause they all from Canada. Yeah. Um, I feel like you started this shit though. It all started from I feel like your Instagram post when you were just like fuck everybody. And everybody's like, you know what? It's up. We all just going at each other. We tired yeah. of all the friendly shit. Uh, What's your thoughts on the state of hip hop right now? It's great. It's great for me. You know, <laughs> like I'm always on that time. You know, sometimes I, you know, 
You see, I put the Instagram up. I, there's nobody gonna play with me. I, I done been through too much of this shit. I made more money than anybody ever make at this shit. Had more <laughs> like hits, made my own Jordan, fucked every bitch. Like, so it's like I don't I don't care. I've been, like I said, I've been in every style and shit. So it's just this shit fun to me, you know. But I'm I'm really into the idea, you know, it's with Drake. That's the whole thing, it's like morality and likability. My question is, does he really believe that shit? I'm, I, I, look, I, come on, I Jay. Mean, he, come on, he come, has come on, some Jay. points. What, what point? What's what point? What point did he got? What's his point? What, what's his point? What's his point? I mean, he, go ahead. Super influential when it comes to all of this shit. Twist yourself into a pretzel to justify this dumbass nigga shit. Go ahead. What, what? he 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 does what's have his, his own Jordan. The red right. October's was crazy when it comes to sneak, and I'm not a sneaker here. That, when it, in that community, you know, out of that statement, that's not what I'm talking about. We oh, know he's talking, got what talking, about, what talking about. Yo, I done made more money than everybody in this shit. All right, I'm gonna let that slide because nobody. Okay, 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 right. okay. I thought I you were talking about the whole, the whole statement in general. No, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about. I mean, yeah, I, it, there are certain state, there are certain parts of the statement that invalidate the statement. So when you say I done made more money than everybody in this bitch, all right. Mm, all I mean, right. whoa, 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 whoa. Remember. Wait, he was, he was on a billionaire list. A Don't shoot list. Not off of no music, nigga. It was off but of them guys. So music. when he's talking about I made more money than everybody in this, like uh, there's a lot of when, when they talk about hip hop artists who was billionaires, they mentioned Kanye West. They didn't say okay, uh clothing designers that they were no, they would be like Kanye based, West based off the, on that list. I agree. Based off the evaluation of the Yeezy Adidas deal, he was over Jay probably about a few like 800, 800 million. Now, I granted that. But when the least when he the canceled when the sneaker deal canceled, that right. decreased his value. Right. So his yeah. value ain't what it used to be. So even if at a time, I agree. Even if you crawl back over a bill, you behind Dre, you know what I mean, Dr. Dre. You behind uh, Jay-Z, who's your mentor, and you behind Diddy. But does that take away from what, his statement of, I done made? I done made. No, no, that's not what he said. He said, I made more than everybody in this bitch. Okay. All right, and that's what I said. Let's put that to the side. Yo, I invented every style. <laughs> every. Uh, we, of uh, course we can't say uh, every. Uh, of course uh, we can't say every. Of course okay. we can't say every. But hey, brother, I'm I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm just fucking with you. I'm poking fun. This is your man's. So I'm 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 going to poke but fun. I already at told you how I felt, but I'm still going to be a realist in, in my. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah. I don't, let you know about him. don't let that bullshit Billy slide. Not, uh, not connected. They're usually the opposite. Right. Usually the most immoral people are the ones that are the most likable. So if I say I like Drake, it's not because he's a good person. It's because I like. <laughs> you understand? Know yeah. I like. I like. I got like. For everybody, you know, I'm not gonna say love because you got the love that that's gonna weaken you. That compromises you. So I got like for everyone, right? And it's just, I think this is a beautiful time. You know, it's like we saving the world. Like you take Drake and Lucy and out, that just alters everything because that's such a control thing they had, the algorithm, the way that they work together to fix the numbers and all that. You know, uh, they, they got they have still working together. That's Absolutely, like, we're gonna name this nigga after a dragon, some demonic shit like yeah. Drake and all this type of shit. Like we're gonna change the name, actor, and do this and shit because it's like you know, in they heart of hearts. Like whether it's like tubs and this and that, all the Canada they love, yay and yeah. shit. And, I, and I'm I'm invincible. Like even if I died, I wouldn't die and shit. And I'm <laughs> like so, and it's I'm tired of this nigga fucking with me and all this shit, man. So the fact that these niggas is coming together finally, because it's not just about the elimination of Drake, you know. It's like right. like we're gonna tear the head off whoever they got that they thought was in control of all this shit. Like look at this, it's like they running the numbers, they running on radio, they got the smash, and then you know it's like not even not playing Lil Wayne no more because he ain't, um, you know, he's not directly connected with Lucy. And then they go right. and like buy the cash money shit out. Then they like pick and choose who they want. Oh, we're going to have Migos one week and then we're going to have um, Future this and then we have 2 chains this and then they always pick somebody. I'm going to have 21 Savage. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's like they always pick somebody from Atlanta. I'm from Atlanta. I was born in Atlanta. Right. Whatever. You know. How did so, that even happen though? Like, yeah, I mean, I'm before we even know who is Lucy and Green? Like, who is he? Yo, <sighs> this sounds like some whack-ass conspiracy theory type Fever dream, yeah. This is this is insane, bro. Yeah, don't you remember at a time you were on top? Do you not remember that? And, were and, you <laughs> go ahead? Were, were a... you uh, I don't know, uh, an industry plant or somebody at the head put you at on top? Was 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 that you then? No, Drake just having a phenomenal run. He makes really good music. We mm -hmm. really like it, and we want to mm -hmm. hear it. That's mm -hmm. simple as that. Not saying nothing that he's saying 
doesn't hold value or couldn't be true. But, bro, I don't believe it. No, and I'm not in the music industry that much, so I don't know what's going on at the top. But I know the music he dropped, we like it. I like it. Mm -hmm. The music everybody else dropping, I don't really care for it. This shit has a few to no playback value in my in my perspective. The only nigga that I'm playing back is Drake. Pause. Like, so that don't got nothing to do with the people at the top. That's my ears. So it's so unfortunate to see him talk like this because it's like you're giving up on yourself. It's like every the shit ain't working for you, so you want to point blame at the people it's working for. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. This shit is wag wiggity. Go ahead. Oh, see, because people don't know who he is, and I feel like you have to he be just, higher up to know exactly who he is, and you've got to that level. He's still higher. He's still a higher gun. He just like a like a nigga handler. Like he just control like. Uh, Universal, he running for him, but he's he ain't a like nigger handle. He ain't no overboss and nothing okay, like that. So he ain't like, no, like, no billionaire, nigga. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but like, he got billions. You know what I'm saying? His money is like infinite. It's just a, it's a form of energy, it's a tool and shit. You know, <laughs> right. it's like, but he is someone who, in the constructs of where, uh, where niggas have been placed, you know, Native Americans, all the combination. Because my grandmother's Indian, like, right. you know what I'm saying? They don't put that in the schools that they indoctrinate us into. Because you know you chief, then you know you chief. They ain't gonna teach you that you chief. They are gonna like give you a contract, rap contract. Basketball contract say you king, but you only king to a certain limit mm -hmm. as long as you don't get out of line. Okay, you king type shit. So no, for sure. I mean, obviously, Kendrick dropped the like that verse. Drake dropped the push ups just a minute ago. He put it on all DSP, so he's looking yeah. standing on his disc. Yeah. Have you heard both of them? Yes, I heard it. What do you think Kendrick's gonna do now? Do you think he got some shit for Drake? Who do you think wins? That I battle? win. I got some shit for Drake, and nobody won with me. Hold on. What you mean? You got some shit for Drake? That's not. You got some shit for Drake? It's all like right now. Like you got some shit ready for Drake. So you won't let this slide, huh? You said. No, nobody wants smoke with Kanye. First of all, you talking about rap? You might want to hear that shit you're talking about. First of all, foremost, <laughs> so that's a lie. But I mean, I can't be upset with that because he's betting on himself. Like you can't never be up when a nigga say I'm number one. You can never be upset with that. Like you're like, okay, cool. But first of all, you know, I don't even care about what you talking about. You might want to hear that shit. And look, it's a 58 minute interview. We only seven minutes in and he giving y'all niggas. I like like that's why I said like this whole podcast was about let's dump this shit off and tell these niggas what it is, bro. And I still can't even find this joint. It was supposed to be on Yeezy.com. Couldn't find it on Yeezy.com. I don't know where they, they ended up finding this video. It might have been on. You know what? I didn't check Spotify. I'm bugging. So like, you know, what I mean, which would be fire. Like if they got a little Spotify deal and Kanye eating off the pod, it might make sense. So like, you know, I I, I feel like the way they dropped this was really weird. But let's go. Actually, we listen to the shit. You got I shit on him. Fuck him. Like I told you, I, I, I put the shit in. I said, fuck this nigga. It's fuck this nigga. And I like him. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, <laughs> it's, it's it's always like, fuck this nigga. A little slick shit he be doing. Fuck all that. And that's what it is. But I did do this uh like that remix though. I think that's what you was wanting to do. Oh shit. shit. Let me see. You got the like that remix. I don't believe Gay jumped on the like that remix. You know we had to get the hooligans up here. We gonna take this pussy nigga out. Yo, God, I got you. Oh on the joint, you know, everybody's very, very excited about the elimination of Drake. Yo, we were not excited, we was energized. I mean, everybody's excited about the elimination of Drake. Yo, Jay, yo, I didn't know you was excited about the elimination of Drake. No, I wasn't. They were because you take Drake out of it, then everybody, then everybody else can eat. But you still ain't gonna eat because if it ain't good, we don't care. Because think about it like this: Remember, we just talked about the golden era, right? Mm -hmm. When Fifty Cent dropped, we listened to Fifty Cent. When mm -hmm. Kanye West dropped, we listened to who? Kanye West. Mm -hmm. If he's dropping good music, we're gonna listen to you. You don't gotta take nobody out off the top spot for us to listen to you. Make some good music. It's that simple. Super simple. I don't understand anything that Kanye's doing right now. And as much as we want a piecemeal. This from that, you got to take the sandwich as a whole. If it's a little doo-doo on it, you ain't going to be like, yo, just pluck the doo-doo off the sandwich and I'm just going to eat it, bro. You're going to throw the whole sandwich away. Yeah. He got to go. All this did was make Drake look like the actual goat. It did. Be it too did. Yes. honest. Shout out to you. You, yes. you, yes. yes. Yeah. Hang tight for you. Yeah. That's all it did. That's all it did. It just, it, it did not help. Like, it did not help your argument. It did not help your fight. It only made him look like the bigger artist and the the more dominant person who he is. And I, I yeah, oh, if I may, yo, can you throw that video? Throw that video back up real quick. 
is it me or does Kanye? I'm gonna mute this for a second because don't nobody give a fuck. But this is it me or does this nigga look like he's got something going on mentally, like from the outfits? Cause he fresh. I ain't gonna lie, the boy fresh. And I'm talking about Kanye, but like the baggy white shirt and the boots on, and it just looked like even with the gold and then your your beard looking rugged, it's like it looked like he's suffering. I mean, I, we've been seeing Kanye West like this for a minute now, so I'm kind of used to it. I feel like we've been seeing him like, I don't think this is right now at this point, at this stage of this interview, I don't think this is nothing new than what we've been seeing for the last, what, year or so. I just, yeah, yeah. I, I just really wish that, you know what I mean? I just, yo, therapy, my nigga, like, he might need some volume or something, like something to get him back focused and kind of like, you know, um, but I, I will agree that if you were to tame Kanye, you would you could potentially diminish some of the genius. Mm -hmm. You know, he, him being erratic and all over the place allows him it allows his brain the freedom to coalesce and bringing together all of these crazy ideas and for him sometimes it's best when you creating a move in the moment you know something happens it pops in his brain and he just want to do it and then boom he out comes something beautiful you know what i mean I, I i feel like he exists in a in a in a he exists in a bubble within himself where he doesn't connect the past present and the future mm -hmm. so like what he said yesterday don't have nothing to do with the idea that's happening today yo i feel like even when you look at yeezy porn i feel like somebody that is addicted to porn eventually is going to sit there and go yo i think i could do this better you know what i mean like yo i think i might have some different ideas on how we should approach this and yo i'm easy i got billions of dollars why not you know, hey, let me start a studio. Let me bring in the ones I really feel like should be doing it. Let me give you some ideas. But he's not connecting that to it's totally disconnected from him being a Christian or even recognizing that porn destroys his life. He's just having an epiphany and he's got an idea on something that he wants to create and then go. You know what I'm saying? And I, it's beautiful in one way. But it does not work on a societal level because as human beings, we kind of need your beliefs to connect with your actions mm. because that gives us a sense of ability to trust. I can trust you because what you're saying and what you're doing connects mm. when what, what you say stops connecting to what you're doing. That erodes trust, meaning that we don't feel comfortable bringing you around kids we don't feel comfortable with you you know being a leader we don't feel comfortable with you you know and artists i will always say don't need to be leaders because artists need to be able to detach themselves from reality to create the things that change the world i agree you know what i mean and it goes back into the, the diddy conversation where like yo geniuses are erratic all over the place motherfuckers doing wild shit you know what i'm saying so it's just like that's the way it works you know what i mean like if i was to put kanye on a bunch of pills and a bunch of goddamn shit to try to regulate his his mind guess what now it doesn't have the ability to create like it did mm. So it's it's a complicated situation. And that's the reason why we can't be judging niggas just based off of, you know, all right, I operate and think this way. So everybody in the world's got to operate and think the way I think and move. No, bro, that's just not fair. You know what I'm saying? We got to give people space to exist the way they, they want or need to exist, you know, um, uh, but within boundaries. And Kanye hasn't done anything outside of the boundary i mean we've got some moral boundaries he didn't slammed into full speed but i, I don't mean, think it's like like cancel kanye westworthy right i'm not saying like cancel this man he didn't do anything to us i'm just saying that i cancel him because he's everywhere and he's looking corny like that, that that's me just my opinion it's not like he hurt people you know what i'm saying it's not like that he put people in in, in jeopardy like i'm saying He's not the Kanye West that I fell in love with. So it's not really a cancel him because of what he did to other people. It's a cancel him because this isn't the person that I loved at a time. And sometimes yeah. when you're not in love with somebody, you got to walk away. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, and that's what it is for Kanye West. It's like, man, yeah, I, I probably wouldn't rock with a. It's not, I'm not a fan of everybody, but just because I'm not a fan of somebody don't mean that, uh, that, that, that person 
shouldn't be able to make money off of their passion or their, their, their dreams, right? That doesn't mean that. So with Kanye West, it's just he I, he lost a fan. It's not mm -hmm. canceling him. It's just I'm not a fan anymore. 